Pluto, a far-off and confounding body, was once viewed as a solitary and real planet, an individual from our planetary family. But ongoing frightening verbalizations by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with an intriguing disclosure. They propose that this cold world is on a potential impact trajectory with Neptune. But how is it that this may work out? Moreover, what could be the outcomes of such a giant event? Are we seeing an entrancing impact caprice, or is there something else to this oncoming boundless episode? Follow us as we investigate the possible effects of a Pluto-Neptune impact. Pluto, a previous planet that was consigned to a more modest status, remains a subject of interest and study in the grandiose community. According to persistent figures by leading specialists, Pluto's orbit is perilously close to Neptune's. Leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are raising the alarm about a potentially dangerous calamity between these planets that could represent a significant threat to Earth. But how is such an event even possible? Pluto's orbit around the Sun is unusual compared to some other planets in our nearby planetary system. It takes a stunning 248 years to complete a single orbit, which truly means that since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even finished one full trip yet. But the interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's orbit is described by its extraordinarily unconventional shape, altogether different from the almost round orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit drastically more unpredictable is its inclination of 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The path Pluto follows is notably more erratic compared to other planets. This inclination and anomaly add layers of complexity to its orbital pattern. Perhaps one of the most captivating aspects of Pluto's orbit is its connection with Neptune's orbit. For something like 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually gets closer to the Sun than Neptune, against what we might expect from their positions in the planetary system. This prompts the clear inquiry. Why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies within the gravitational influences of other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began soon after its discovery. Initially, space professionals tried to make sense of its surprising path. Unlike other planets whose orbits lie nearly close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's orbit stood apart due to its dangerous inclination and erratic shape. The mystery surrounding Pluto's orbit may be understood through the three-body problem in celestial mechanics, which involves understanding how three objects in space, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and interact with each other through their gravitational forces. It's like trying to predict where they will go based on where they start and how they pull on each other. In Pluto's case, this problem suggests how its orbit, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravity all interact in a complex way. Terms like asymptotic libration, scope libration, and the VZK wobbling are crucial to this riddle. According to astrophysicists, what keeps all planets in their orbits is a type of libration. In the case of Pluto and Neptune, this term means that when Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, its position is usually something like 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is crucial in preventing their orbits from influencing each other. Libration, however, refers to the vertical movement of a heavenly body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or some other large planet, it is positioned far above their orbital plane, adding an extra layer of protection from potential impacts. One more critical factor in this current scenario is the VZK wobbling, named after three researchers, V, Z, and K, who studied how objects move in space. It's about how three space objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on each other with their gravity. This pulling influences how they move. For Pluto's case, the VZK wobbling helps us understand why its path near the Sun is so unusual. Despite the apparent randomness, this influence helps keep Pluto's orbit stable for an incredibly long period. The VZK wobbling shows that despite the fact that things in space might seem turbulent and conflicting, particular patterns and forces help keep everything under control. These factors help safeguard Pluto's orbit, ensuring it doesn't collide with Neptune or float off course. This three-body problem impacts how we understand these orbits, especially in how space objects pull on each other. 
Focusing on this helps us handle Pluto, our neighboring planetary system, and distant stars and planets. Mathematical simulations in the late 1980s discovered that despite these unpredictable features, Pluto's orbit is still stable, with little deviations in initial conditions leading to significant differences over prolonged periods. However, these strange features of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain consistency over relatively long time scales. Later computer models have assisted us in understanding how the giant planets, like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn, influence Pluto's orbit around the Sun. Neptune has an interesting relationship with Pluto, where for every two orbits Pluto completes around the Sun. Now Neptune completes three. This resonance helps maintain Pluto's orbit stable, but Neptune isn't the only factor. Jupiter's gravity also plays a big role in protecting Pluto's orbit, and Saturn also helps in that expansive region. These studies show that Jupiter's gravity alone is powerful enough to ensure Pluto stays on a steady path for an extremely long time, probably even billions of years. Maybe Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are cooperating to ensure Pluto can keep orbiting safely in space without running into trouble. These irregularities are crucial in the larger context of the universe for maintaining the stability and consistency of celestial bodies. Without these factors, our local planetary system as we probably know it would be a place of far more unrest and instability. Bodies like Pluto could certainly collide with others or be ejected from their stable orbits, causing a cascading effect on other celestial bodies. For Pluto, especially with discussion about it potentially colliding with Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is crucial. This gives us a clearer picture of the dynamic nature of neighboring planetary systems. The case of Pluto shows how even in the most naturally volatile orbits, an equilibrium can be achieved through the complicated cooperation of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also highlights the importance of constant observation and analysis of these irregularities to better manage our place in the universe. Investigating the depths of space often leads us to confront the strange nature of celestial bodies. Moreover, Pluto's orbit is a perfect example of this strangeness. The possibility of orbital resonance, which shows the delicate dependence of a celestial body's orbit on its initial conditions, is truly demonstrated in Pluto's case. This means that even slight changes in the dwarf planet's position or speed can substantially alter its long-term orbit. Using digital simulations has been crucial for exploration to figure out how Pluto moves in space. These models use complex mathematics to recreate how Pluto, along with other space objects like Neptune, pulls on each other. By enhancing small details in the simulations, astronomers can study how even minor changes will have a significant impact on where Pluto ends up. In the late 1980s, these simulations revealed something very interesting about Pluto's orbit. Despite having systems like asymptotic libration and growth libration to stabilize it, Pluto's orbit can still be surprisingly inconsistent. If you begin with even a slight difference in where Pluto is or how fast it's moving, over many years its path could end up looking completely different. Despite this turmoil, Pluto's orbit remains stable for billions of years. This suggests that Pluto's journey across the Sun has a certain order to it, even though it seems tumultuous at first, especially when it involves erratic orbits like Pluto's. This presents extraordinary challenges. The inherent nature of these systems suggests that long-term forecasts are often filled with uncertainties. While mathematical simulations are an important tool for understanding and predicting the future behavior of celestial bodies, they also highlight the limitations of our predictions. These models rely heavily on the accuracy of initial conditions and the complexity of the interactions they simulate. Any small mistake or deviation can drastically change the results, making accurate predictions highly difficult. Moreover, the turbulent nature of large orbits like Pluto serves as a reminder of the ever-changing and dynamic nature of the universe. While we have made great strides in understanding space, Pluto's model allows us to reflect on how our understanding of the universe is still limited. The gravitational effects of the giant planets on Pluto's orbit provide valuable insights into the broader dynamics of the nearby solar system. It shows how the presence and role of each planet can have sweeping effects on the stability and path of other bodies in the system. 
So why are prominent astrophysicists suddenly raising concerns about a potential collision between Pluto and Neptune despite all these intricate forces trying to prevent such an event? Neil deGrasse Tyson, a famous astrophysicist, provides a book-length perspective on the mysteries of our local solar system, especially the fascinating case of Pluto. Tyson, known for his role in renaming Pluto from a planet to a dwarf planet, offers insightful analysis on the evolving nature of celestial mechanics and the public's interest in the overlooked corners of space. His role in Pluto's renaming is framed within the ever-growing understanding of our solar system. He views the renaming not as a diminishment but as an important change in alignment with our expanding knowledge of the many bodies surrounding our Sun. Tyson's approach to celestial mechanics is one of constant learning and change. He views the complexity of Pluto's orbit, as well as its interactions with Neptune, from a perspective that acknowledges the unpredictability of space. He suggests that while Pluto's orbit is stable for now, it may undergo significant changes in the future. This possibility serves as a reminder of how much we still have to learn about the forces shaping our planetary system. In the grand scheme of things, Pluto's orbit is a fascinating case study in the intricate interaction of gravitational forces within our nearby solar system. While its orbit is stable right now, the mysterious factors between Pluto, Neptune, and the other planets suggest that even the most seemingly stable orbits could change over time. As astrophysicists like Neil deGrasse Tyson continue to explore the vastness of the universe, they help us better understand the delicate balance that governs the movements of celestial bodies. The possibility of a Pluto-Neptune collision is not necessarily unavoidable, but it serves as a reminder of the continuously evolving and complex nature of the universe. Regardless of the established theories surrounding Pluto's orbit, it's important to remember the broader implications of these forces for how we understand the local solar system and the universe at large. While Pluto's journey is certainly one of intrigue, it's also a reminder that the universe is filled with mysteries and complexities waiting to be explored. The idea of orbital resonance, specifically between Pluto and Neptune, is a critical piece of the puzzle. This resonance, where the ratio of Pluto and Neptune's orbits is 2 to 3, is an essential part of celestial mechanics. For every two orbits Pluto completes around the Sun, Neptune completes three. This resonance ensures that despite their orbits crossing, the two planets never collide. This is a result of the gravitational interactions that stabilize their paths, working together to prevent any catastrophic impacts. The significance of resonance in maintaining balance cannot be overstated. It provides an excellent example of how systems in space, even those that initially appear chaotic, can self-regulate through subtle gravitational forces. Understanding this resonance also explains why Pluto, despite its irregular orbit, has remained stable for billions of years. This dynamic is an essential part of the larger structure of the nearby planetary system. The effects of planets like Jupiter, Saturn, and even Uranus are crucial in maintaining balance within the orbits of smaller bodies like Pluto. Jupiter, with its massive gravitational power, acts as a sort of guardian for the interplanetary system, influencing the orbits of various asteroids and dwarf planets, including Pluto. In fact, some experts speculate that Jupiter's gravity could have prevented Pluto from being ejected from the nearby solar system altogether.